welcome to Clash of the Dice. I'm James. I'm Joshua. And in this episode we're bringing you another game of Blood Bowl Team Manager the card game. Except it's got dice in it, so we're classing it as a dice game. Uh, the first game of this we did, we had two fairly similar teams up against each other. We had a big pile of rotting pestilent flesh up against another big pile of rotting pestilent flesh. A.K.A. we had the Champions of Death up against Nurgle's Rotters. So we're going to do things totally different in this one. We're going to have a bunch of short, angry, grumpy dudes up against another bunch of short, angry, grumpy, grumpy dudes. dudes. <laughs> so we have got the dwarves against... Chaos dwarves. Yeah, so we've got the grudge bearers having a grudge match against the Tsar Nagran ziggurats. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so we're set up for the first round, which is the Goblin Tribal League. So whoever loses that particular one gets a penalty. Just to clarify, we are playing, just like the first game we put on, we are playing with all of the optional rules except the roaming referee, because that's just far too complicated. So we do have the enchanted balls, we've got the stadium cards, we've got the penalty cards, and we've got the contract tokens for the payouts. So we need to flip the coin, heads off the tails. Tails. Is that heads or tails? That's heads. That's heads, right. Because tails look like a cup. Okay, so you said tails, it was a heads. That's the second, Father. Do I want to go first or second? I think I want to go first. So let's have a quick look at the stadiums. Stadia. So no passing at this one, no regeneration at this one, although neither of our teams regenerates. No sprinting, and fewer than three players. If we break any of those rules, we get a penalty. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a dwarf blocker for this one. Joshua. My turn. I'm going to play a mighty, mighty minotaur at this one. Loner, when this player is the only one of your players committed to this matchup, increases star power by one. So I now have a star power of 5, so 5 versus 3 on a tackle. I get 2 dice and I can choose. You're going to tackle me, are you? Oh, he's definitely knocked down. Double tackle, so you are knocked down. Yep. And that's all I can do. Okay. I am going to play a blitzer. And I think I'm going to play a blitzer at this matchup. So that then gets rid of these ones. Hi Tim. Yep. I'm going to play a hobgoblin thrower here and I'm going to retrieve the ball. Okay. I'm going to play a long beard here. I'm going to play a Chaos Dwarf blocker here. I'm going to block Tackle. Tackle, sorry. Your Dwarf Blitzer. So that's one die. Ooh. Three or No, it'll take your Dwarf Longbeard then. Yeah, so that'll be two dice. Ooh. That one fell to the table, so we'll re that one. Well, I don't think you really need to, do you? Because I mean, yeah. you've got a, a slam, or whatever it is. So you're going to knock down my Dwarf Longbeard. Yep. Okay. Right, so I'm going to play another long beard here. My turn? Yep. I'm going to play a hobgoblin thrower here. I'm going to get the ball. Okay. He has the dump off skill, so if he gets downed, he can play the ball on my Chaos Dwarf blocker. Yep. Well, I'm going to play a troll slayer. I chose to take a cheat token. And then I get to tackle your hobgoblin. Ooh, I think we'll go for that one because I don't want to get knocked down. Okay. So it's my turn. Yep. I'm going to play a hobgoblin lineman with my hobgoblin thrower. Okay. I'm going to play a troll slayer. So I get a cheat token. You only get to roll, but you because you get to roll one dice because I've got dauntless. dauntless. So troll slayers doing what troll slayers do best, taking on big nasty beasties. Yes. Oh, well done! And you get a cheat token. 
I still get what a boost of one star. I still get a one star power boost. You do, but I mean, this is where I'm going to possibly be at a disadvantage because the dwarves are from the core set, and the core set don't have these down skills. These down skills were only introduced in the two expansions, Foul Play and Sudden Death. So it's not every player in the expansion that has a down skill, but some of them do, and none of mine do. So that's kind of an advantage and a disadvantage. Well, potentially. So yeah, I'm going to play Old Goblin Lyman there, because in case he gets a whistle, yeah. um, and he gets sent off, I still get my rewards. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we're all out of cards? Yep. Okay, so you've definitely won this one. Yep, so it means. So, reveal cheat tokens on this one. Oh, I've got a one, that's good. I've got a one. Cool, so I've, so got, I've got six. I've got four. So okay, so I one. win that one. Then this one, reveal cheat token. It's a one. So you've got six, seven, eight. I've got five, six. Six. So I win that one. So? You win that one. I win that one. I win that one. Yep. Now then, I've been quite tactical here because the losing payout on this is a penalty. So if I was to play that and lose, I would have got a penalty. And because Joshua is the only one that's played cards there, he gets the winners and the losers payouts. What? So he gets the winning payout and he has to take a penalty. Right, so we're going to do the payouts and we'll come back with what we got. Okay, so payouts. We do staff upgrades for, well, we do fans up first. I've got 10 fans. I have half of that. Five, cool. So then we do staff upgrades, which so are the ball cards. Staff upgrades are these ones, and I got cheating coach. End a game, gain a fan. Or in a matchup action, you can choose to use the cheat skill as okay. well as the regular skills. Cool. So I'll put that there. And then team upgrades. I don't have any team upgrades or staff upgrades. Team upgrade. This is my logo for team upgrades. And I've got Chaotic Fury. Exhaust this card to allow one of your down players to use the downed grab the ball skill. Yep. That's good. Star players. You have go you, first. Have you got any freebooters? No. Okay, so if we had freebooters, we'd, we'd reveal freebooters first. So... I've only got star players, that's the, about the other than fans, that was the only star players I got. Uh, rewards I got. Rewards I got, payouts. So I've got Griff Overweld, human star blitzer. Well, star player. I think in the original game he was a blitzer, but he hasn't really got, he's not much of a blitzer, he's just good at getting the ball and scoring. I got pass bubble. Oh, lovely. Cheat, grab the ball, and two regenerations. Oh, he spreads disease as well. I'll we'll yep. get the disease tokens out. Okay. Now, my penalty isn't actually that bad. Right. Concuss what? Next time you would draw one or more team upgrade cards, draw one less team upgrade card and discard this card. Yeah, that's not so bad, actually. Right, let's get set up for the next round. Okay, so we're set up for round two, which is the Spike Magazine Trophy, and Joshua's turn to go first. So, we're going to play Pass Bubble. Pass Bubble's going there, so we get to cheat. And I'm going to sprint. So, draw a card and discard card. Okay, and you spread disease. So, what that means is if you haven't watched our previous video, is if Dad plays a unit there, he has to take token. that and he has minus one star power. Right. So, it's your turn now. It is. I am going to play a dwarf runner. Yeah. So I get the ball. Over to you. He's got that weird skill where if you hit, you can't not down him. Yeah, I'm just, I've got to stand ball. firm. So if I'm the ball carrier, you can't tackle me. Good question. So if I tackled him, would he still lose the ball? You can't tackle me because he's got stand firm. Okay. While this player is the ball carrier, opposing players cannot tackle him. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm gonna play my hobgoblin. Runner here. Mm -hmm. So I do a sprint. I draw a card and I get rid of a card. And you take a cheat token. And yes, he takes a cheat token. Okay. I think I'm going to play a dwarf locker here. Good. Okay. I'm going to play Mighty Minotaur over here. 
Obviously, I got him for my sprint because I used him last mm -hmm. round. So I'm going to block your tackle. Tackle, sorry, your dwarf blocker. Yep. Even without my um, loner skill, I get two dice. And I choose nothing, so I'll choose nothing. Your turn. Right. Um, I'm going to play a long beard here. I'm going to play. Chaos Dwarf Blocker here, and I'm going to tackle your Dwarf Blocker. Still nothing. Okay, so you've currently got seven there, I've currently got seven there. Interesting. Um, I'm going to play Dwarf Runner here, and take the ball. I'm going to get play my good friend Bull Centaur here. And try and take out your dwarf long bid. Two dice. Oh no! Ooh, so both dice are crosses, so that means he gets knocked down and you get a sprint. So yeah. Alright, so you lose any remaining skills, so presumably that applies to cheat as well, because you are now downed. So yeah, okay. now I need to sprint. Yep. So I draw a card, I discard a card. So right here, right now, you've got three. And that could be anything, and I've got four. This one you've got seven, and I've got seven, but I would win that tie at the minute because I'm the ball carrier. But you've still got a card left to play. Which of these two do I really want to win? Um, and I think the answer would be this one, because it's got more fans in the payout. So I'm going to play a long beard here. Right. I'm going to play a Bull Centaur over here. And I'm going to go for your Dwarf Blocker. So that's one, die. one dice. So you're downed. Yeah, my long beard's going to use his guard ability and he's going down instead. Okay. I've got Bull Centaur, Stamp, Trample. So I've got to use my downed star power yeah. against your star down star power. I have one, you have zero. Yeah. So I get two, two dice that I can choose. I'll choose the hit. Yeah, so he's gone, he's injured. But that doesn't really lose me anything. Right. So at the moment you've got ten there. Yep. I've got seven. Yep. Um, you've got three and a cheat. I've got definitely four. And you've got three. And a cheat. Right, I've got Griff Overworld, so I could play it here and guarantee to win this one. I could also play it here and guarantee to win that one. Um, at the moment I'm going to lose this one, and I may or may not lose that one. So in terms of the payouts, this one would get me five fans and two star players. This would get me three fans and three star players, and a contract. Um, so I think I would rather guarantee the win on this one because it's got more fans and fans count at the end although it's good to have contract tokens at the end as well but yeah I think I'm going to go for this one and we'll go Griff Overworld goes there and I'm not going to no need to use that no need to use the pa that pass that pass sprint I'll use the sprint if for no other reason then it then gets allows me to reshuffle my deck ready for the next turn. Right, so let's reveal these ear cheat tokens. Last bubble. Oh, he's sent off. off so nobody gets any of this penalty payout. Uh, um, my this is the one I'm interested in. Goblin Runner. One. one. So that's four. And I've got four. So I win this one because I've got the ball. And then you and win, I win that this one. one. Okay, good stuff. Let's move on to the payouts. Okay, so fans update. I'm now on 19, 7 for Joshua, uh, then what, staff upgrades, ball cards, I have taken a fouling coach which gives me a fan at the end of the game and also I can exhaust it at a match up to allow the player that I committed this turn to use the foul skill, awesome. Any staff upgrades? No. Any team upgrades? No. No, me neither. Any freebooters? 
Nope. Nope, me neither. So, star players. I'll allow you to go first. Okay, I'm going to take another Reichland Reaver, the mighty Zug. What have you got? I've got Max Spleen Ripper. Yeah, chainsaw dude. Okay, nope. He has a. Uh, he has the Loma skill, so... No one with Loma. Yep, this is going to be fun. Okay, let's set up for the next round. Okay, this time we're playing for the Dungeon Bowl, and it's my turn to go first. So, I think I will start with a... We'll go for a Dwarf Blocker at... Which matchup do we want? I think I want to go here. So, we've got no tackling, otherwise you get a penalty, but the ball has got a tackle skill on it. So, if you take the ball and use tackle skill, you'll get a penalty. Likewise, my dwarf guard can't tackle anybody, otherwise I'll get a penalty. So, over to you. Okay, so I'm going to play... Um, I think I'm going to play a Hobgoblin Lineman. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a long beard. I think I want to play the long beard here. So we get rid of these two. Over to Joshua. Okay, so your ones that you've picked are absolutely fine by me. I'm going to play a hobgoblin thrower over here. Get the ball. I'm going to play a troll slayer here. I'm going to take a cheat, and there's nobody there to thump, so I'm not going to thump anybody. I'm going to play Chaos Dwarf Blocker over here. I'm going to take out your Dwarf Longbeard. You will try. Two dice and I choose. Oh, the Dwarf Longbeard. Yeah, sorry. So he goes down like a sack of spuds. Exactly. And his ability doesn't work anymore, does it? If you get down, you, your skill doesn't work, does it? I haven't got any abilities. I mean, um, K, the um, guard ability. Oh, yeah, that's correct, yes. I'm going to play my Troll Slayer here. So I'll take okay. another cheat token. I'm going to play Max Spleen Ripper over here. He's going to slice and dice your little... Troll Slayer. Okay. So I get six star power. Okay. Oh, he's not a loner. Uh, he's, he's a loner, rather, so he's not oh, alone. Sorry, so he that's five. Yeah. Not that it makes any difference in this game. So that's he goes down. Take down. Yeah. I take a cheat. Yeah. And I get to foul you. This is what I chose. Am I keeping it or are you discarding it? You can keep it. Okay, cool. I'm going to play Mighty Zug here. So I get to thump you. Um, you don't have any players with guard ability, do you? No. Because his special ability is, is a juggernaut, so it ignores the guard ability on the opposing team. So I'm going to take a shot at your Chaos Dwarf blocker. He has six skull skill. What does that mean? If I get if you tackle me successfully, I get to roll two dice. If they're both slams, you get down instead. Oh, okay, that's interesting. You still gonna do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're definitely down. So you roll two dice. Oh, nope. one of them's across. So no, you're down. You take a cheat token. Let's hope that's a good one. Uh, for luck, we're gonna take the centre one. Okay, and I'm going to use my fouling coach. So I get to foul you. So I get to choose a card. And it's a hobgoblin lineman, and you can keep that. Okay. If it's something a bit more special than a lineman, I probably would have got rid of it. Um, I'm going to play this over here. And that's all I'm going to do. Oh wait, that should be the one in. Yeah. So this is currently giving you eight. With two cheat tokens in. I've currently got seven with one cheat token. 
Um, I've definitely won this one. It's whether or not the cheat tokens are going to come into play on this one. And I think I might just play it safe and put the long, long beard here. And if you'd have worked it out right, you'd have realised it was a long beard because you fouled me. Yeah. And you knew that one of them was a long beard and the other one was mine. Uh, I've, since then I've played the other one which is Mighty Zook so you probably could have worked it out that it was a long bit. Mm. Right, so yeah, that's me done. I'm going to play this guy over here so you do not get my rewards. Okay. Right, so, cheat tokens. Let's see what this Troll Slayer's got. A one. Okay. That puts me on seven. So let's start with the Chaos Dwarf Blocker. One. Max Spleen Ripper. Sent no! off! Awesome. Your um, Troll Slayer. Well... You can bin your cheating chainsaw dude, and let's see what my righteous and upright troll slayer, troll gets. slayer's got. I won. Okay, so you win one. that one and that one, but I win this one. Yeah. Okay, so payouts, you're going to get two team upgrades and a contract and three fans. I'm going to get a team upgrade, first so far. This one, I'm going to get five fans and a staff upgrade. You're going to get a star player and a team upgrade. This one... I'm going to get, I'll take the four fans rather than the team upgrades and a staff upgrade. You're going to get two star players and a fan. Right, so we'll be back with the payouts. Okay, so fans, quick fan update. I'm on 28. Joshua is on 11. So he's got a bit of catching up to do. However, he does have a contract token which gets revealed at the end of the game. And that will have some more fans on it. Right, staff upgrade cards. I have taken offensive coordinator. So at the end of the game, I gain a fan. And during a matchup, uh, if the ball is at midfield, I can exhaust this card to allow the player that I committed to become the ball carrier. Any staff upgrades? Nope. Team right. upgrades. Team upgrades. I have got Steely Resolve, which is very similar to my staff upgrade. Exhaust this card after one of your players successfully tackles an opposing ball carrier to move the ball to your tackling player. Crossing the line! It's a response. When one of your players would use the sprint skill, exhaust this card to use the foul skill instead. Okay. And it does the other way around as well. And response. When one of your players would use the foul skill, exhaust this card to be use the sprint skill instead. Okay. Interesting. Star players, I haven't got any at all. Dr. Pain! Oh, yet another Nurgle. Yep, so all my star players this game have been Nurgles. Yeah, and all my star players have been right from the Reavers. Okay, let's set up for the next round. Okay, so we're set up for the final round, which is the Blood Bowl, and Joshua gets to go first. Yay! So, I'm going to start by playing. A hobgoblin runner over here. Wait, five, three, five, six. So we'll play it over here. So I'm going to sprint. Okay, Draw no fouling on this one unless you want a penalty. So if I knock him down, you need to think about that if you're going to be fouling. Okay, so we're going to discard a whole goblin lineman. Your turn. Uh, take your cheat token, please. Sorry, I am extremely sorry. There you are. Okay. Right, I will go for a dwarf blocker. And I will block, or tackle rather, your hobgoblin runner. And he's going down. Are you going to foul me and risk a penalty? No. Okay. No! So, yep, that's me. I'm done. I'm going to use cross the line sprint instead. I'm yep. going to pick this up. I'm going to get rid of a whole couple of linemen. Okay, so now it's your so turn. now it's my turn. Yeah. I'm going to play Puss Bubble over at the Blood Bowl. So I take a cheat token and I sprint. And I think we'll get rid of what I just picked up. Okay, and spread disease. Puke. Blech. Blech. Right. Uh, I'm going to play a blitzer here. I think I'm going to go for 
the tackle to see if I can injure you. Please fail, please fail. Yes, he's injured. You're out of there. Well, you leave me no choice. Dr. Payne, do your thing. So I'm going to go over here. So you have to take a cheat token. I'm going to take a cheat token. He's got the cheat skill on the ball. And I'm going to hit your dwarf blocker in the face. With a star power of four. So I get to choose what I want. I'm going to punch you in the face. The blocker's going down. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for a dwarf blitzer and we'll go here. And I'm going to use my offensive coordinator because the ball is at midfield, so I'm going to claim the ball. Okay. Yep. I'm going to play my hobgoblin thrower. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't see that. Two pa uh, Yeah, star power. Am I going to play and get a penalty? Am I going to play and get a penalty? No, I'm not. Actually, I'll play it here and I'll still use the. Offensive coordinator to grab the ball, and then I'm going to sprint. <laughs> really? Let me guess, you've got a long bid. Yeah. Not so. My turn? Yep. I'm going to play my hobgoblin thrower here! Get, a, get the ball, and I have the dump off skill, so that's handy. Okay. Right, so over to me? Yep. Cool. I'm going to play lineman here. Long beard. I'm gonna play Let's get rid of these. Out of the way. a chaos dwarf blocker. Just think you got four there, so yeah. I'm gonna play it here. I'm gonna go for your dwarf long beard. So I get two dice and I can choose on that block. Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay. Your turn. I'm gonna play a long beard here. I'm done. My turn. I'm going to play my good, good friend, a ball centaur, over on this matchup with my good friend, Dr. Payne. I'm going to hit your dwarf long bid. Ooh, two dice and I can choose. I'm going to hit you. So he goes down. And then I'm going to use trample so I get two dice and yep. so I choose still I'm gonna hit you and so injure you good. and I get a cheat token now there is a chance I could not get anything there yep. uh, so at the moment you've got seven mm-hmm so with two cheat tokens and you've used all your cards yeah so my last card you have I've definitely won this one. You have nothing on the blood bowl. Correct. I am going to play my troll slayer there. I'm going to take the cheat token, obviously, because I have to. Uh, I get infected. So you get two star power. And I'm going to tackle your goblin thrower, hog goblin thrower. One dice. Ah, oh, dear. You knock yourself down. He goes down. That's the end of the. Round or okay. end of the season. So let's so have a look at cheat tokens. You get a fan. A fan. You get. I get a whistle. Sent off. <laughs> so it's a tie there, but I have the ball, so I win. Yeah, because well, actually, you win anyway because two minus one yeah. gives me one. So yeah, you've won that. Over one. here, no cheat tokens. Over here, I have two cheat tokens. Doctor Payne gets sent off, and my ball centaur gets a fan. Right, so I win this one. Yep. Okay, so payouts for this one, you'll get five, no, six fans and a contract, I'll get two fans. This one, you'll get four star players, not that that means anything. I will get five fans and a team upgrade. And this one, I will get six fans and you'll get one fan. Two so, fans. Two fans, yes. So let's tot up and see where we come out. Okay, so end of the game, and we revealed contracts. I didn't get any contract tokens at all. I got two, giving a total of five. five. So your total fans for the game? Tossing up everything, 26. And I got 44. So, there we have it. The dwarves beat the chaos dwarves. 
Mm-hmm. So, what do you think? The Chaos Dwarves are good, actually. They are, well, like Chaos Dwarves, they will do anything they can to beat someone up. Yeah, they've got that trample ability with the bull centaurs. And um, they get a lot of cheats. Yeah, confession time, that was a rematch, because we played a game earlier in the week that we filmed. Um, you picking your nose on camera. No. And, um, yeah, a certain somebody was reading the trample rule wrong for the bull centaurs and it wasn't until I'd finished editing the video that I thought how am I getting thrashed by this team and that was how somebody was reading the trample rule wrong yeah. so he hadn't realised that you're supposed to use the, the bull centaurs downed star player skill rather than its standing star player skill so whenever he was knocking one of my players down straight away that my, my player was getting injured and sent off so yeah we had to redo it um, but yeah, I thought that I would be at a disadvantage because the Dwarves are from the core team, Chaos Dwarves are from one of the expansions, the Dwarves from the core team, none of the core team uh, teams, core, sorry, core set teams, have any down skills. They were only introduced in the, the expansions. So, but yeah, as it happens, they, they were more balanced than I thought. Um, I mean, when it came to winning the matchups, I think it was quite close, and on several occasions it came down to which players were going to get sent off by the cheat tokens, which you don't know until you reveal them. And I think I was very lucky that my troll slayers didn't get sent off, whereas you, you got quite a few players sent off, didn't you? Mm. That's the downside to using a uh, a dark side team, if you like. So Chaos, Skaven, Orcs. Um, Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah. Nurgles. Yeah, well, those kind of teams they get a lot of cheat tokens. Whereas of the, if you like, the good aligned races, very few of them have got cheats. I think none of the human players in in the the Reichland Reavers team. I don't think any of them have got a cheat token. Uh, all the elves, dark elves, yes, but regular elves, no. Anyway, so yeah, we're looking forward to do some more games of that, or I am anyway, because I, I quite like it, you're a bit meh about yeah. the game aren't you? Next um, game we have a plan of using goblins and um, chaos, so yeah. that's going to be interesting, you've got goblins who cheat a lot, yeah. and you've got um, chaos who are all, all right on the cheating, they yeah. don't overload on cheating, they cheat sometimes but not a lot. And that should be quite a balanced game as well because even though the goblins are from one of the expansions, none of their players have got down skills. So, yeah, that could be interesting. The star players they get can have down skills, but none of the regular team members have got down skills. So that, that should be a re reasonably good uh, matchup. Um, I think it's only fair to say tactics. Talk tactics for a bit. You, you might notice that I mm. pretty much never really targeted the the tournament cards. Mm. I just went straight for the matchup cards that had loads of fans on, and of course that's how you win the game. It's by getting the most fans. So that's what I concentrated on was getting fans. I mean, you got more star players than I did, didn't you? Yeah. Because yeah, that that was the payouts that you got. But overall, I think that pays dividends is going for the matchups with the fans. Yeah, the Goblin Tribal League. How you didn't go on that yeah. frustrated me. Yeah, that I was a, thought that champions. Was proper were, gobliny on my part. Yeah, I thought championships were different. No matter if you didn't play on them, you'd still get the losing. No, whoever, if you play cards, if you're the only player that's got cards on any of those matchups, you get the winners and the losers payout. So, just so happens on the Tribal League, the payout is a penalty. But to be fair, that penalty didn't really hurt you much in the end, did it? Yeah. It, you had to get one fewer, was it staff upgrade, team, team, team upgrade. upgrade card. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. That was alright. But yeah, a little bit of a... There was quite a lot of strategy in that game in the end, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. Right, so in the meantime, thank you for watching, and until the next time, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless.